Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. So today I will talk about a very important topic. Okay, so make sure you pay very close attention. I am going to talk about my five pillar protocol that I teach to my clients and that has been helping along with my own son many 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 children on the spectrum and they are now happy they are healthy they are uh, successful and they're talking okay so let's dive in so let me share my pillar with you first so that you know what i'm talking about so here the five pillars that i have built was actually came out of my own need when i was trying to help my son muhammad on the spectrum okay so I was trying many things. I tried many diets. I went to doctors who didn't give me anything other than pills to make him sleep or uh, giving me laxative to make him poop. They never, a single time ever, even told me to give him prune juice, okay? So yeah, you know how that works for. So what I did was I, in various graded, in various, uh, steps of the process i have tried many things and then i distilled all that and made this protocol which is now a lot more simpler and a lot more efficient to follow okay so let's dig in the first one is mindset so mindset is reconnecting rewiring and preparing your brain your emotional your mental stability to make sure that you are ready for this journey because the world thinks that just by, just because you are a mother, you are supposed to know how to take care of your child. Just because you are a mother and you gave birth to your son, you are supposed to know how to raise your child. You are supposed to know how to make him eat when he rejects all the food that you so lovingly cook for him. Okay, so I understand because I have been there, been there, done that. And uh, I'm also teaching my own clients how to make sure that they are ready for the journey ahead okay so this is actually the most important part not just because of you for you for but for your child as well why because healing is not a linear curve there will be ups and downs ups and downs and you will be facing so many barriers and so many challenges you have to be totally ready for the journey and how do i make sure that you are ready for this journey I make sure that I give you lots of tools and techniques and NLP methods to calm you down, to reconnect with you, to find out what's really bothering you and what's really making you stay stuck in your position. Because many of us actually are clueless, like what should I do? What will I do? What will happen? How will things change? Will things ever change or not? You might have this feeling that, oh, my son or my daughter is never going to talk because Nobody is telling me actually what to do. And maybe you have tried many therapies and many other solutions, or maybe you haven't tried anything because you don't know what to try and what to look out for. So I give you all the tools and techniques and you should find out on your own as well that your mindset, the proper way is the way to do. The way that you can make sure that you are totally on par and on ready for that and on for the journey, okay? So after your mindset is uh, leveled out and in a proper position, that's when we start the detoxification phase. Detoxification phase is the next most important phase by which we, what we do is basically we remove the toxins that has been building up and we clean up the diet. Okay, we clean up the diet and we prepare the body for the next stages to come. Okay, let's say you have a, uh, you have a, how to say, you have a plumbing situation in your home, okay? And you need to clean your toilet, okay? Or let's just give another better idea, I would say. Let's say your, your child's digestive tract needs to digest the food, evacuate it out, remove it from the body. And when your child is digesting the food, the uh, the function of the gut wall is actually also to reabsorb, to absorb the nutrients from the gut, 
okay? So what happens is if the gut is full of toxins, it's full of undigested food, it's full of stool and compacted whatnots, then even though you give all the good food, all the good nutrients, all the good supplements, your child will still not absorb those properly and still will not show result. Why? Because you haven't cleaned the system, okay? So what I do is basically when we first start, if you were to work with me, what I would do is first, I will clean up your child's system, okay? Clean up his uh, digestive tract, clean up his colon, clean up his poop uh, condition. So when the internal tube is now clean, then when you put good food and nutrients, high nutrient dense food, that's when the child will be able to absorb those nutrients properly and use them to, for the brain development and body healing. Okay, so this is another part that is sorely missing, I would say, in almost all the protocols and on all the diets that people usually follow, because they don't put this detoxification into serious business. Okay, so for your child to be uh, for this, for the protocol, for the journey to be a lot easier, uh, faster, there should be proper uh, detoxification in the process first. Okay. So after your child's body is a lot detoxified, that's when we go for the heal and seal. That's the third pillar. And what heal and seal is, it's a six week of intensive um, healing therapy for your child's digestive system. The whole gut is on a special, very special and uh, restrictive diet. That's when we give them food that is so much easier to digest and so much easier to assimilate and absorb the nutrients and use by the body, okay? So that heal and still is when I hold your hand through the step-by-step step and you're not alone. And there are other mothers you will see in the group. There are other mothers who have been there, who have done that and they will also help you along with me. So when your child has goes through this six week of intensive cleaning and healing, his gut is now properly ready for the nutrients to be absorbed, for the nourishment to be hold on, okay? And that's when the fourth pillar, the nourishment comes in. What nourishment does is it, I, it builds and it maintains a proper balanced diet. There, there are supplementation and there are environmental support and other boost ups that's required for the ongoing stabilization and recovery of the neurological functions. What I mean by that is when you give your child proper nutrient, proper nutrition and your child is absorbing the nutrition nutrition properly nutrients properly that's when the brain development starts that's when your child starts learning stuff that's when the brain fog cleans up and then your child will look at you will have eye contact with you will be happy will have social interactions and so much much more you know, more you know, influence and importance okay and improvements as well and uh, after the nourishment phase, we have this last step, which is the maintenance. And maintenance is actually done in a prolonged time because let's get this. A lot of clients, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't say really clients, a lot of people who sometimes DM me, they, comes to, they come to me and then they say that um, what, what will happen, you know, like what's the guarantee or the timeline that my son or daughter will start talking I would say in that it's an ongoing process. You cannot come to this in a way that you come to me and I give you a full protocol, you follow it for three months or four months and then boom, suddenly your child has become neurotypical. He's understanding everything, he's talking like a parrot and whatnot. That is not a right thought in the first place because our children are neurodiverse. They will be neurodiverse all the time. But what we are doing is we are giving them the best support and the best uh, way of care so that they are whole and healed. They are happy and healthy and they're successful, built for success inside and out, okay? Rather than waiting for years and years, you are getting the full support, the full um, nourishment, the full uh, backup, the full care and the full guidelines that is necessary for your child to be able to process things, food or thought or emotions and whatnot, and understand you will be able to parent your child more easily and, and he will actually be able to 
work with the world in a lot better way. Okay, so maintenance is what you have to make sure that you keep on carrying because let's say if you are in a diet, you want to lose weight, you want to lose 10 pounds or 15 pounds and whatnot, and then you start this special diet, you lose that weight and then you know you feel happy, you are healthy and you think like, oh, I lost the weight. So let's just not stop here. Let's just start eating all the cookies, all the creams, all the ice creams and everything that I have been eating so far. Okay, so do you think you will be able to hold on to that low weight now? You will start gaining weight again, right? That's the same thought that we apply here. It's not like you come, it's just one time you change the diet and then suddenly boom, everything just happens miraculously. Miracle is only delivered by God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if he, if he decides your child becomes totally receptive in three months, then I will be very happy to deliver that. What I'm trying to say is it's a process and you have to keep following it and make sure that it is part of the life. It's a part of your healthy lifestyle and you have to follow it. If you do not follow a healthy lifestyle, you cannot expect to stay healthy, okay? So your child needs an ongoing support, an ongoing way of uh, maintaining the diet that he or she is and to make sure that he or she is getting the proper nutrition and they're not eating stuff that is not healthy and balanced for them. And with me, if you were to work with me, what I will teach you is I will make this so easy for you and such a part of your own lifestyle that it will be a no brainer for you. And I have seen time and time again with my own children and with those that I work, after a certain time, they don't actually crave those bad foods, okay? They don't crave the junk foods and whatnot because they have got this huge shift. They have shifted their whole mindset. The whole system is now changed and your child will innately will not crave the junk food that much or not crave at all until you show him that there is a burger that he can ask for or there is a bag of chips that he can ask for that's when he will ask for it but it won't be like what you what is going on right now okay so in summary if you want the best support for your child you have to make sure you give him the five uh, steps or the five pillars which is your mindset proper detoxification uh proper healing and sealing of the gut, proper nourishment, and then maintenance of that diet throughout uh, the rest of the life. But don't be scared for the maintenance part. It's not like your child won't be able to enjoy food. I teach all those things in the program also because I am a very practical human being. I am very practical and I like things easy. I like shortcuts. I like to make my life easier. So I have built systems in which occasionally your child and you will be able to enjoy all the foods and all the fun and you will not regress back that much, okay? But apart from that, you have to make sure that most of the time you are following the journey, you are following the lifestyle that I'm teaching you because that way you will have ongoing and constant result. And you know what? When you are addicted, to seeing your child talk like me, you will not want to give him the burgers and the fries regularly, okay? Because the, the happiness, the freedom that we see when our child is improving, when our child is looking at us, when we are calling them, they are replying, they are coming to us, they are playing with others, and, and, the, and the general well-being that we see in our children, that's like addiction, dude, that's like, so much happiness we don't really want to go back so i am sure you won't want to go back too so we are with that being said i am so thankful for you to be here please make sure that you keep following me and uh, if you are watching this on youtube subscribe to this channel so that you can get your weekly dose of recovery and keep following with us keep staying with the autism success academy because it is the place for you to be to achieve transformational recovery and success for both you and your child